Good, good, good. Morning. What's going, what's going, what's going on, fellas? City of Dallas, Texas. Morning. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. Here in the beautiful city, Dallas, Texas. Texas. Back in the truck, fellas. It is pouring. Just in time. Just in time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before we got this rain, rain. rain. All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Check, 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 check. Mike, check. He was a butthead or something, you know, man. Lip, 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 slog here. Two times. Yo, what's up, fellas? This is your boy, Mark B. I'm over here. I'm going to get some breakfast over at Jack the Box. I don't know if y'all can see that beside me, but uh, I'm going to get my little morning ritual on, and that is drink some coffee. It's either McDonald's, Jack the Box. Anyways, guys, it's only going to be me and Doug this week again. Unfortunately, it is raining, so we're gonna have to try to get as much yards in as we can in between. We have a window where it's not raining. We're gonna go and hit them yards up, guys. All right, we're sharpening blades on the Honda 21 inch at the moment. Let's check it out. All right, we got these suckers sharp, pretty sharp. Uh, they're sharp. <laughs> yeah, they're sharp, dude. Grab your finger across that, I guarantee you'll cut you. I'll take your word for that, buddy. Yeah, I like razor sharp blades, man. It makes the grass look good. We gotta sharpen these blades, like, probably every three days. Right. Every three days. At least. At least. We've only been doing it once, maybe every two weeks. <laughs> we can't, we can't put that on video. We're gonna lie and tell them we do it every three days. We do it every three days, buddy. Don't listen to Doug. Ah, uh, well. All right, boss. It's good to go. That's a good cutting mower there. Cool. It's always been a good cutting mower. It just wants to wrestle you sometimes, man. You think you're pushing it, but no. It's pushing you to the limit. Let's <laughs> get her in. It's done. All right, guys. Well, it's just me and Doug. We're knocking all the properties out that we can. It is Tuesday. It rained here yesterday, which is a Monday. We've had a, uh, we've had tons of rain here in the DF Dub area. Me and Dougie Doug, we're we're just knocking them all out ourselves. Let me show you this grass. Check it out. It's already, already. It looks like it's already going into dormancy. I mean, it's getting turning brown and or yellow. Got little spots that are green, but for the most part, it looks like it's. Uh, Slowing down, we may have to start going to uh, every other week with this property here. So it is what it is. All right, guys, I got to blow blow off the uh, patio here. You guys wondering what I'm using? I'm using the uh, Toro Power Vac, and this can be purchased at Home Depot. There's where I usually get all my uh, equipment, like the trimmers, hedge trimmers, um, all pretty much in one place. Home Depot. That way, I have the same brand, and I'm consistent with the brands that I buy. And if I need parts, I could always go to one store and buy parts like trim, uh, string trimmer or the uh, speed feed heads, these right here. And uh, I don't have to worry about driving all over the place, going to different stores and stuff, you know. We just get it all in one place. Actually, I have a link below on the description of 
all the equipment we use just in case you guys are wondering here we go again on our own Woo! we're here at the HOA we got actually we got three new accounts this is a brand new account we just picked up like five minutes ago brand new account we just picked it up awesome man that's funny i was telling my wife the other day i was like it's gonna be crazy because of course you know we're going into typically it's the slow season right but i'll tell my wife watch during the slow season my business is going to actually be picking up it's going to be the opposite so that's what we're working with oh watch it doug dougie dougs seems like he's about about to pass out it's been tough guys no joke i mean uh we've picked up a lot of new accounts we picked up a lot of new accounts last month and uh you know what is it it seems like it's was this just me and you we get accounts and everything goes smooth we got more menu everything's foobard <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, we don't get no accounts. Maybe once more than a blue moon. Right. So that's crazy. Yeah, because like since we don't have the other two guys, it's only me and Doug. It seems like we're picking up more accounts. You know what I mean? It's it's weird, but you know it's all good. Can't complain. I can't complain. Me neither, right? man. I mean, we can't complain. It's job security. You know what I'm saying? Right. But anyways, but uh, it looks like we uh, it was my fault. I almost tore Doug's arm off. No, just my wrist or his wrist almost tore his wrist off now look it's all right now it's, it's okay he's able to move it yeah it's just sore now he had his hand in here i didn't know he was behind the trailer i thought he was i thought doug was still mowing, huh? <laughs> mowing at this other property i didn't realize he finished that quick and uh well finish quick i better go see make sure he did mow because that was real that was way too quick Dang, nah, but when you're good you can mow quick and make it look good there you go if you're not any good at it then forget it yeah forget it forget Dang. it i've done this all just about most of my life so doug's you know. been mowing for about 50 years he got 50 years no nah, ain't he, that <laughs> dang old almost uh two years away but you know no for, for so what three years away 40 40 48 47. 47 he's been mowing for 47 years old as soon as he got out of the womb yeah i've been mowing since i was probably about eight or nine years old okay. uh, doing chores around the house you know about 37 36 36 years but i was missing around with 50, about 50 years old but anyways I'm Doug, there, man. <laughs> anyways i had thought he was out mowing right so i got in the truck i didn't see anybody around the trailer got in the truck started but as i started going i didn't know he had his hand up here so i started to go and i heard whoa and his hand got stuck thank god i didn't break his wrist i, I don't know I, I, should we should we do an, a reenactment <laughs> no it's quite all right I don't want to go in. I don't want to go back to the hospital anytime soon, man. No, nah, I'm just playing. But this just, just, just shows us see where it, it was like kind of, that. Yeah, you know. And when you started taking off, my hand got locked in there, and it was pulling the trailer door down. So I couldn't move. I couldn't let go. At the same time, I was like, "Whoa, dude, whoa!" <laughs> oh, fuck that. Except so you good. weren't laughing. Yeah, I wasn't laughing then. <laughs> I am now because you know, I mean, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody food bars sometimes. So I mean. Dang. Man, and I, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I felt bad. I felt really bad. But thank God, nothing happened. You know, he could have definitely broke his wrist. I could have dragged him. I just got a few blisters on my feet from these wet shoes. About it. Let me see. Pride. You know, squeezing a little bit. Yeah, uh, just about dry now. The inside's gonna squish, squish. Feels like stepping dog poo or something with no socks on. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to invest in those, uh, those those shoes that everybody's talking about that supposedly they're supposed to be rainproof mud proof fireproof or, or something like that or deluxe or something no it, there's some landscaper made them or something for landscaping it, it's supposed to be good i don't know i see everybody if you, if you guys know what i'm talking about put it down in the comments also timberlines hey what, what size of shoes you wear okay hey you never know somebody needs to 
Dougie Doug wears eights. If anybody wants to if hook us up. Booster size eight shoes I wear. It depends on if they're uh, seven and a half to eight, what kind of shoes they are. Okay. So, so y'all heard it. I wear nine, so if y'all guys have some nines and y'all want to hook it, hook up a brother. Hey, we ain't scared. We, huh? we, ain't, we ain't scared, huh? Yeah, no. I'll give you my P.O. box and y'all can send them to us. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we got to get out here. Woo! It's hot. Shirt or something, you know? Yeah. Doug, Doug said he'll send you a shirt, a dirty one, too. <laughs> right? We'll, we'll send them a shirt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah, right? a, a we'll, tip for a tat, right? We'll, we'll send that shirt you're wearing. The cut off redneck shirt, right? There you go. Hey. <laughs> Unwashed. <laughs> there you go, souvenir, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, let me know. My drink was in the, in the cooler. Hope it didn't spill out. Sure. Oh, your uh, venom? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, you guys that are my subscribers, let me know in the comments if you guys are going to go to the GIE Expo in Kentucky this year. If y'all are, also put that in the comments. That way, uh, man, I can look for you guys, man. I want to just show some love. Me and Dougie Doug and Ryan will be there. We're gonna go out there just kind of like I said, we're just gonna go out there to show some love, man, hang out and and whatnot. Clips long hair, baby. Yes, sir. Dancing Doug. Oh yeah. It's been a tough week guys just me and doug and we have to take care of all of these properties all by ourselves which we're big boys it's all good but it looks like we're gonna get rained out look you know it's kind of been raining off and on all this week so we're playing we're not playing catch up right now but we probably will later on this afternoon and uh Probably tomorrow as well. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Let's lock her down. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and put this. Your freak gun. Echo 225 back on the rack. Got Echo there. We got Echo products there. We got an Echo product over here. Can't see it. And we got a Eclipse product right there. Huh? Hey, well, uh, I was thinking since Friday we're gonna get rained out, supposedly, or more than likely we're gonna get rained out. What if we go to Home Depot and pick up a day laborer to help us out? Already. We used to. We'll do it. Uh, hefty, hefty, hefty. Whippy, whippy, whippy. <laughs> Man, we ready for this? We're ready. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. I gotta shake some of it off. So, where, where's your? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's raining. Where's your Dougie pack? I don't see your Dougie pack. Oh yeah, it's here now. It's on your arm now. Yeah. Okay. That's only when I got cigarettes and more than more than, than just my phone. <laughs> Already, so Dougie. Already, Dougie. Cigarettes are bad for your health, kids.